note to watch for in this game in Long Beach State this year when they score 80 plus points they're nine and one on the year they also give up a, a good fair share of points as well well Triton defense has been locked down of late coming off a good win against Cal State Fullerton Jerron Brooks inside to a cutting Aniwa Niwa Tate Jones and we're even at two in the opening minute uh, Tate Jones dynamic on those cuts anytime he sees an opening he'll cut to the basket there's a low post touch Lacina Traore they come with a double team and they force a turnover that's the kind of defense the Tritons have been playing in their three-game winning streak Hayden Gray drives in Hayden Gray finds an open man and the cut again it's a knee when he would take Jones well Long Beach State got uh, completely discombobulated on defense they weren't sure who was taking who and uh, just an easy basket way too easy basket for the Tritons Tate Jones for the beach two in the early going almost 90 seconds in on this separation Thursday and that's a really good slip pass there as uh, Masia Thompson gets it in to Abubakar Troyore for the bucket. Yeah, Thompson did a nice uh, job of splitting that double team with that pass. Issa Silva, the Stanford transfer, had been their starting point guard of late until Thompson came in, and there's a three, Bryce Pope. And that's a good, good sign. Anytime Bryce Pope hits his first or second shot, he normally has a pretty good solid game. I like the tempo so far. Lacina Troyore off the mark, rebounded by a knee when he would take Jones. Triton start the evening nine and six overall three and oh and Big West play tied for second look at that passing Brooks in again another cut by a knee when he would take Jones well uh, again uh, Messiah Thompson got beat a little frustrated with his team after a couple of years at the College of Southern Idaho here's Tate Jones driving on Sahonis second defender comes kick out well Corey has already made one he's gonna make two here in the first half Again, he didn't hesitate. He got the ball in rhythm and knocked Best it Best mark in the Big West Conference. Tate Jones looking inside for Brooks, and there's going to be a shove from behind, and they're going to get it on Polonese, and that will take us to a break. It'll be just the second team foul for Long Beach State. So the Tritons will inbound when we return. 10.52 to go. First half of play, Long Beach State with a three-point advantage over UC San Diego. Easy basket for them so far tonight. Five point advantage for Long Beach State, who's now on a 14 3 run over the last four minutes. Out to Magai. The three is good. Man. Look at that big block yeah. by the big man. Shimanga says, Not on my watch. Not only did he block it, he controlled it himself. A la Bill Russell. Foul on Lewis, his first, just the third team foul against Long Beach State. Tate Jones into Shimanga, and he scores around A.J. George goes with plays he doesn't yeah. he just at the end of the night he's a, a stat sheet stuffer but he doesn't force shots I mean he just plays within the confines of the offense Tate Jones is stuffing the stats now with a guy dribbling through traffic open is Tate Jones and down goes the three Boy, that great ball movement. You go back to last week at Santa Barbara, then a couple of days later at Cal State Forward. Now that's where they're killing team. They're moving that basketball. They're not spending a lot of time. They got through. numbers if they so choose. Could have a five on three coming back. Leave it for Pope. Deep three is good, and he's fouled. Well, that got the fans on their feet here at Lion Tree Arena. Bryce Pope getting a great pass from Aniwa Aniwa Tate Jones, knocking it down. Once again, he got his feet set. Nothing but string music, Mr. Quiz. And a chance to make it a two-point game at the free throw line when we come back. 3.03 to go in the first half. Long Beach State 40, UC San Diego 37. For that time, very nice rebound. And See if they can capitalize. Oh, man. Tate Jones isolated against Messiah Thompson on the left side. Took him to the hole and scored the bucket. He's got 13. Yeah, he got that ball and just backed him down. And a nice height advantage. Good leaping ability. I'll tell you what. Uh, Tate Jones really had a great start to this basketball game. He came out firing right from the get-go. Over the top to Lucina Traore. And he took too many steps. That's going to be a Long Beach State turnover. It'll be just their third of the first half. Four ties already, Ted lead changes. Now watch him just walk him down, just walks him down. The old backing him in, backing him in. Little contact, know where he's at, then you reverse pivot, get away from him. 
Keep your body between man and the ball, and you're in good shape. The junior from New Zealand already has 13 points. He averages 11.6 points per game. And he's just a smooth guy. He is. You know, he's one of these guys that he may not score a lot of points every night, but at the end of the night, I mean, he does a lot of good things and helps his teammates. Well, 5.3 rebounds a game out of his guard spot. That's 11th best mark in the Big West currently. I know it's early in the season. And three and a half assists a game, and he runs the floor in transition as good as anybody I've ever seen in a Triton uniform. But but the big thing, Steve, he got a great basketball IQ. He makes yep. the right pass at the right time. And now we got a little bit of an extended zone here by Long Beach State with a minute 56 Who to go. Who's it going to be? Or are they going to give it to Oh, they're going to give it to UCSD? I beg your pardon. I thought the officials had pointed toward Long Beach State, so a chance to to catch and shoot here. You got to run a back pick for a tip here. Let's see there it into is. Brooks and Brooks. He didn't get off in time. Missed it anyway. And that's how we end. Hey, again, the last two games in this series have been decided by a total of four points. Two each time. We had to go three overtimes last time in this building to decide it. And we're on pace to do that again. 42 per side coach heading into the break a good first half both teams had their moments I thought the real key for the Tritons down the stretch they fell behind by six and Bryce Pope hit that three-pointer and got fouled and then nailed the uh, the shot you know kind of got them back going again and hey we're uh, we're gonna sit back and enjoy a great <laughs> second half of basketball on a Thursday night yeah not a lot of separation so far on this uh, self-proclaimed separation Thursday is it tied at 42 here from America's finest city, Long Beach State, UC San Diego. Back for all the halftime fun right after this. Buckled in because through the first 20 minutes, we're tied at 42. Levin lead changes four ties. Both sides have had a lead of as many as six points, and that's it, Coach. Here's our first half highlights. Uh, some uh, good moves really offensively by both uh, squads. Good follow shot right there by uh, Abubakar Triori. Doing a great job. Emmanuel Shamunga going up, getting blocked by Amari Stroud, who played pretty well off the bench, I thought, overall. And Sahona, guy knows how to get to the basket, no doubt about it. Good uh, jump shot right there by Aniwa Aniwa Tejo. Here, here's the old the backyard move. Back him in, back him in, reverse pivot, lay it off the window by Tate Jones. Who had a really good, <laughs> solid first half, Steve. The beach out shooting the Tritons, but not by much. You see the seven threes and the rebounds. This is a Long Beach State team again. Second in the Big West in rebounding at 40 a game, including 13 offensive rebounds. And in the first half, they only have three offensive rebounds and only four second chance points. That, that's a, a good I mean, He was near us uh, in front of the timeline and threw it to the other side of the court. Thompson's got 10. That's our 14th lead change of the game, making a 15th lead change. Hayden Gray's got missed it back rim. Well, that would have gone down. The house would have come off. Yep. And Sahonis, will he turn it over again? They say, yeah. Goes off of Sahonis for a seventh Long Beach State turnover. Of the night, it's been raining threes, coach. Already 13 made triples in this game for the Tritons with 11.38 to go. Now, long ways to go in this basketball game. And you don't win games on the road at Michigan or at USC by not being a good basketball team. So I, I think uh, the Tritons coming out of this timeout, they got to realize that 11-point lead can evaporate very, yep. very quickly, especially with the transition game of Long Beach State. So if you're excited about 13 triples, let me just tell you, it's not even the top two of what they've done this season. They had a season I 18 against Occidental in this building back on the 5th of December, and then on the road they had 15 at Sacramento State. Yeah, they're going to really put pressure in the backcourt. Good job by Tate Jones, and the reason they did that is their primary ball handler, Hayden Gray, still sitting over there on the bench with three fouls right now. Good, good job by Coach Munson to have his team press coming out of that timeout. Yeah, it was an eight-point lead when Gray won out of the 12.55 mark. They've been able to add to it with him on the bench. Step back three by Tate Jones is good. A 14th made three. This is unbelievable. What in the loyal of Marymount's going on? Well, Tate Jones coming into tonight, a uh, 33 and a third percent uh, long-range shooter. He's knocked down a couple of uh, trades tonight. He's got 7.30 to go in the game and down 71 to 56. Tritons with a possession. Tate Jones against A.J. George got position inside, got fouled, and count it. Oh, Tate Jones has been terrific. He has 18 on 8 of 9 shooting. 
Well, we're, we're going to get another look at this. Uh, you talk about putting the guy in the popcorn machine right under there. Pump, pump, pump. We'll miss one guy. Other guy hit him on the noggin. But he'll uh, ride it in for a bucket. Now try to finish off the old-fashioned three-point play. Tate Jones' career high was 21 in this building on the 11th of November when the Tritons beat Crosstown rival University of San Diego. And with the way they performed against San Diego, I know there's a return game next year, and San Diego State in this building almost winning. I'm not sure anybody's going to want to play the, the Brooks break. pick. Kick out. Wakoria well, three is good. Oh, their 15th triple of the night. Everybody was so excited since Tuesday to play this game. And the Tritons are going to win it by 14. That's their third consecutive Big West game where they've led by more than 20 points. They led by as many as 21, and the Tritons win it. 16 threes, Bryce Pulp with a game high 26. And UC San Diego is 4 0 in Big West Conference play for the first time.